Okay, let's take a look at this factory overhead rate and application of factory overhead problem. This is exercise 18-4. The chief cost accountant for Mountain Glade Bre Beverage Company estimated that total factory overhead cost for the blending department for the coming fiscal year beginning March 1st would be $546,000 and total direct labor would be $420,000. During March, the actual direct labor cost came out to be 36000 and factory overhead cost incurred were 45000 So what's the predetermined factory overhead rate if it was based on direct labor cost? Okay, so let's tackle part A. I'll just jot this down. All right, what we know first off is that the estimated total factory overhead, let me just type it in this way, was going to be 546,000, right? And the, the total direct labor estimate cost was 420,000, right? So what was the predetermined overhead rate? And you might call this factory overhead rate, uh, but I'm just going to call it predetermined overhead rate. All right, and uh, just to sort of label what's going on here, this is A, this is B, and so this would be A divided by B, right? So we'll just do that, equal A divided by B, and we come up with $1.30. Or you would turn that into a percentage and you'd say it's 130%. So it's either a dollar thirty for every direct labor dollar in turn incurred or 130% of direct labor cost. Okay, that takes care of part A. B says journalize the entry to apply factory overhead to production for March. Okay, well we need to debit work in process. Why don't I just make a little journal entry form? Uh, right, why don't we do it right here? Debit, credit. Okay, we'll center this. We'll underline it a little bit. And we'll say, what was the entries for Part B? So we're going to debit work in process, the blending department. And we're going to debit that for... Um, 130% of the actual direct labor we incurred. So it was 30,000. So we'd take 30,000, $36,000. I said 30,000. I meant 36,000 times that 130%. Right? So if I pull it from right there, we've got the number. And I can just reference that cell. Uh, we'll turn both of these into currency since it's the first time the, the column sees it. So we've got a debit to work in process and then a credit to factory overhead blending department. Okay, now that is one way of labeling it and that may be the way textbooks explain it. I also want to point out that sometimes this would be called the factory overhead applied account and that way you track, if you will, a contra factory overhead account so that you can see how much was actually spent in the factory overhead account or accounts. There could be more than one and the applied account, usually just one account, that shows how much was actually applied. And then when we sum the actual overhead cost with the applied, we get the net factory overhead. Okay, so um, that would be our entry in B to journalize the entry to apply factory overhead to production in March. In C, they say, what's the March 31 balance of the account factory overhead? All right, well, here's what we know. We know what was actually incurred. We could make a T account, but instead we know the factory overhead normally has a debit account, right? It's, it's a debit balance because it uh, normally incurs spending or expenses, right? The cost of factory overhead. So what we know is uh, the factory overhead actual incurred was, was 45000 
and we applied, that means we credited 46 eighths. We subtract that and we come up with an $1,800. Um, I, I have it in brackets to show that it's negative, but maybe the better thing to do is just multiply this times negative 1. Uh, did this the right way. That was times G18. And I'm going to just uh, multiply that whole thing times negative 1 so that we get a positive balance. Okay, and what we will say is it's a credit balance. Okay, since we really don't have negative numbers when we think about debits and credits. And for lack of sp running out of space, I'll put D here and it says, does the balance in Part C represent over applied or under applied factory overhead? Okay, if you've got a debit balance sitting in work in process after you've made, let me say that the other way. If we've got a debit balance sitting in factory overhead, after we've made the application, then we're under applied. If we have a credit balance, that means we applied more than what the spending was on factory overhead. So in this situation with a credit balance, we're over applied. So D, the answer is over applied. And uh, that's this problem, everyone. Thank you.